Welcome back to another episode of Reading Stuff with Jacob, with your host, Jacob. Hi, I'm Jacob, host of Reading Stuff with Jacob, and today I'm going to be reading for you my This I Believe essay. Here it is. I believe in a lot of things, like that Mexico isn't a real place, or LeBron James is actually Michael Jordan in disguise, or that squirrels are secretly the dominant species. But Miss Hoy said if I tried to write about any of that, she would fail the crap out of me. So I tried my best to take this as seriously as possible. But since I'm writing this sentence after I finished, I can say it didn't go that well. But you know, it's a thought that counts, and I tried really hard. Here we go. So, what I actually believe in is that a person can accomplish anything they want if they put their mind to it. And nobody supports my point like Jay Gatsby from The Great Gatsby. For starter, he got Oscar winning actor Leonardo DiCaprio to play him in the movie, so he's starting out strong. Gatsby started out as a poor clam digger, then decided to get mega rich. Then he wanted to get with Daisy, and he did that too. Sure, it was only for like five pages, and then he was shot, but that's besides the point. Gatsby set goals, made plans, and then, against all odds, accomplished them. I'm going to be honest here, the Gatsby thing was definitely my best example, and I got three more examples coming, so buckle up. My second example is Iago from Othello. Iago is wrong by a man who I can't for the life for me remember his name, but I'm just going to call him Morpheus because we all know who I'm talking about and we'll be on the same page. So Iago is angry he didn't get that promotion and decided to get his revenge on Morpheus. So he worked hard, found out Morpheus' weakness as he gets jealous easily, then Iago started executing his plan to ruin Morpheus' life. Which again proves that if you set your mind to something, you can do it. I just remembered Morpheus, his real name is Othello, the title character of the book. I feel pretty stupid right now to be honest. Uh, just imagine that I said Othello instead of Morpheus in that whole last pair. And okay, on to the last AP English example, A Thousand Splendid Sons. Looked up the character for this one, named Hakim. And Hakim wanted to leave Afghanistan, so he saved up money, packed up his things, and got his family ready to leave. And on his way out he got blown up. But technically he still got out of Afghanistan, just not the ideal way. But you know, I'm a glass half full type of person. And now on to the personal story. Like these previously mentioned people, I too had goals. Three actually. I was gonna get all A's, get accepted into a good college, then get a prom date. And you know what I did? I worked hard, made a plan, and I accomplished these goals. Wait one second. Hey, what do, you, what, what do you mean I didn't accomplish any of those goals? Uh, how, how hard is it to get all A's? Really hard for a... Oh, one, that's not politically correct. And two, I was never tested, so we have no idea. And, you know, RCBC has like a 100% acceptance rate. What, they had a 100% acceptance rate? Now it's down to 99%. I'm the one, one person who doesn't... Okay, and I still got one for three, that's not... Oh, I, I didn't get a prom date? Well, like, I, I asked, like, everyone. What? Why would someone say no to me to prom? Like, huh. Well, that, that's a lot of reasons. Like, oh. Uh, you got you got more, oh. You know, I mean, as much as I'd like to find out how much I suck, like, you know, I'm kind of busy right now, I'll call you back. Okay, bye, Mom. Well, uh, you know, that's, a. Uh... Oh, man, uh, sorry about that, uh, but... Oh, that's, uh, that's actually a pretty good segue into my, uh, next and final point. And with my fourth literary example, Into the Wild. Sometimes you're gonna work really hard towards something and you're gonna fail. And it's gonna suck. And everything will be dark and it's gonna be suckish and you're gonna think about how Jay Gatsby, Iago, and Hakeem did so well and how you didn't. But they aren't real people. And if they were, there would have been a lot more missteps in their success story. But a misstep doesn't become a failure until you give up. 
and in that case you didn't really set your mind out to accomplish your goal in the first place. And even if it seems like your misstep was a failure, it's probably not. There will be almost always another opportunity. Sure, Chris McCandless won't get to go on another adventure, and I won't get another prom. And it may look like we failed, but I don't see it like that. We just accomplished a goal we didn't know we were trying to accomplish. Chris found out that happiness not shared isn't real happiness at all, which is a philosophy so many people live their lives by now. And I want the prom as dumb and dumber. I know what I did doesn't begin to compare to what Chris did, but I like to think someone's night was as crappy as mine, then they saw a ginger in a ginger tuxedo, driving a ginger car, and laughed a little. I may have looked stupid and everyone may have been laughing at me, but I don't care. I don't care whether they're laughing with me or at me, as long as they're laughing, and that has to count for something. And I nailed that, going out on a high note. Oh wait, no, that's a picture of Ghetto Fest, so I deep throat a banana. Good ending for this one.